Hi everyone! Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you noticed, we are in the car today. We're going on an adventure. I have like 15 or 20 books that I'm looking to get rid of um, for various reasons. Some of them I was stupid and bought duplicates that I didn't want or need. Uh, some of them are just ones that I'm like, I'm never going to read these. <laughs> so I decided that we're going to go little bookstore. No, no, that's not what they're called. Little, <laughs> little free library hunting today. Um, I know there's a bunch of them around my city, so we're, I figured I'd give them a shot, see if I can find anything worth trading these other books in for. If it gets too long, I'll just, I'll just start leaving them somewhere. But I thought I'd bring you on the adventure with me. So, first things first, I think I need gas. So, we'll be right back. All right, back, we got gas. Turn that down. Uh, I thought I lost my car keys, so that's great. But we are on our way. I suppose I should probably stop somewhere to pull up the addresses for these places on my phone. But I do kind of know where the first one is. The nice thing is, oh, lost you. That didn't that didn't go well. <laughs> the good thing is, I kind of know where some of these are, just because I work in the city and a pretty good idea of where I'm going like it's part of my job to know the streets and stuff so as long as I have an address I know some of them some of them I've seen while I've been dealing with stuff um, so we're gonna go check out that one of the ones that I've seen before first and then I'll try try my list and go from there I might not film anymore while I'm driving uh, because that's apparently not gonna work very well uh, so I might just yeah We'll see. All oh, right, we made it to the first one. It's not actually the one that I thought I was looking for, but I think the one that I thought was here is is gone. So that's fine. Um, let's see here. We'll just grab the first three on the pile. We got Jane by Maggie Nelson. A Swarm of Bees in High Court, which, yeah and Irradiated Cities. The only one I read out of the three of these is Irradiated Cities. These were all school books. No, wait, wait. I might have read Jane. I can't remember. These were all school books um, for one of my creative writing classes that some of them, like the one I just, we just didn't get to. Uh, she had so many books on the syllabus. So that's actually gonna be the case for a lot of these. And I kept them because I was like, well, maybe, maybe not. It's been like five years now still haven't read them, still have zero desire to read them or reread them in those cases. So these are going, we shall see what they have to offer. So let's go, let's go check it out. All right. Oh, look, it's like this cute little blue, pink color children's books only. All right, well, that's disappointing. Hard, I suppose. All right, take three. I tried another one that I didn't bother filming because when I pulled up, it just wasn't there. So we moved on. This one's actually not on the list, but I happened to see it last night while I was working. Um, and I was like, ooh, I think that's one. So turns out I was right. Pulling up alongside of it, it doesn't look like it has like a bunch of options, but you know what? At this point, I don't even really care. I will just leave a couple, take one, take done. I don't really, yeah, we're just, we're doing the thing because I'm getting a little, a little frustrated already. So <laughs> it doesn't take much. Uh, so this one's nice and cute. It's like actually a little house. Let's see what we got inside. We're gonna leave these. Not taking those back. Um, let's see, what's this one? The grandmother's four shirt novels. Two friends fall in love with each other's teenage sons. Wait a second, I feel like, I feel like I've seen a movie on this. I don't think it was called The Grandmothers, but why do I feel like I saw a movie on this on YouTube or something like that? So we're gonna take that. Um, sounds a little, a little risque, but you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. And I'm not really seeing anything else in there. So we're gonna go with that one. 
And uh, at least we got rid of three of my books so far. Can't get them. There we go. So I'm on my way to the next one. And I just wanted to show you, hoping I can get it, this street. I love driving down this street at work because, like, I think you can see it. They have all of these fun things that they hang out of the, the trees and it looks like this time around they decided they were going to do like beach ball stuff like beach themed things um around christmas they do like christmas decorations halloween halloween's a little weird they do some weird weird creepy stuff on, <laughs> on halloween um but yeah they always have something hanging from their trees and it's just it's fun to me it makes me makes me smile a little bit because I'm like, oh, like this block seems like it'd be so much fun to live on. Um, my neighbors are really nice, but we don't we don't hang things from the trees. They're doing something right, I suppose. Let's so. see here. Oh, well, I think that was the block that I was looking for, and I got so distracted by the stuff in the trees that I didn't realize which which hundred block that was. Um, awkward, awkward. So we're gonna loop the block. And we're gonna try that again, and this time I'm not gonna get distracted by the stuff in the trees. Alright, this time we didn't pass it. So, let's see here. Next three books. Cry the Beloved Country. This was another school book. I read it. I really don't remember much other than I didn't particularly enjoy it. I can see why it's a good book, it's a valuable book, but just not something I'm gonna wanna read again. Um, fail Until You Don't. If you read... Uh, read. If you watched my uh, last video on like my recap for what I've read so far this year, this was in there. I did not like it. Um, really the only reason I didn't DNF it is because I'm stubborn. Uh, <laughs> and the reading was easy to get through. It just like, no value, very egotistical writer, long tangents, I just couldn't do it. So that's why that one's gotta go. Um, and then Love Yourself First, this was also mentioned in that video not much depth to that book either um really didn't offer me much so that's why that one's gonna go you know what screw it why not get rid of a fourth one while we're here this one's probably gonna reflect really bad it's white blight this was a, another college book um in that class that just gave way too many books that we never made it to so i have no idea uh what that one's about other than like just perusing through it and it doesn't look like anything i'm gonna want to read so those are gonna be the ones we're gonna get rid of for this one. All right, so these are like the. Here we have whoop, just tripped. Here we have this one. Let's see here. Oh, has some kids' books in it. Let's see here. Heartland. Ah, love these books. This was in. These I, I have like a bunch of those. Actually, I think I have all of them. In all honesty, um, I don't really know. Ooh, this one looks good. This looks like a keeper. New novel is The German Wife. I think I have The German Wife. The Things We Cannot Say. Uh, Nazi Soldiers, Polish Border. Yep, yep. This is definitely, this is a keeper. I love books like this. Um, like I said, I have a weird, I guess you'd call it like a morbid obsession with World War II stuff. Um, so that one's definitely coming with me. I don't think I see any other ones in here that I really particularly want. So really doing um an equal exchange thing here but that's okay that's okay <laughs> let's see here you know what this one seems cute i have no idea where it is so i'm gonna actually have to get directions to this one but it looks like look, it can seem like it looks really cute so we're gonna try that one we're gonna try that one get direction into so many like sad songs recently so i have no reason to your picture perfect lips oh nine if i could have cut the brakes i bet i can help but stay all night hot tip if you haven't watched purple hearts on netflix and you're a romance girly definitely recommend it um oh shoot i can't remember what her name is right now that's gonna bother me i think it's sophia something um i think can't remember it right now. Uh, she was originally like a Disney star and she was in Descendants and stuff like that. Anyway, she's the main actress and I really like her. She's a phenomenal singer and I 100% just butchered 
all of the beginning of that song, which I do apologize for. Uh, but that's what the song is from. So definitely recommend if you haven't seen that, that you go watch that. Got me all in my feels. It was a really cute movie. So, oh, puppy. Okay, maybe scrap that. I'm not seeing it. Unless if this is it. I'm not sure that's the one that I originally had intended to find, but it's the one that we found. So that's fine. That's fine. This is just, this is, oh, this is going very interestingly. All right, next books. Lucy by Jamaica Kincaid. Um, this was another school book. Read it. It was good, but I'm not going to read it again. Proxies, another school book. Did not read this one. Um, I want to say, nope, not poetry. So I don't have any idea what that is. Um, Sars of Young Werther. This was like for an honors class that I ended up dropping. So I don't know why I still have it. Um, and then we'll do Dreaming of Ramondi. This was another Ramondi in Detroit, excuse me. This was another one that was a college one that I didn't end up reading. So I think we're gonna wait just a minute because there's somebody walking her dog. And I think she's a little confused what I'm doing here. And I don't really want to see her, want to want her to see me recording. So I'm just gonna wait till she walks past. All right, I decided not to take you with me on that one just because it was really full and I didn't have anywhere to put the books and trying to hold the books and it just wasn't gonna go well. So. I only got one from this one as well, The Kite Runner. I've heard really good things about this. Um, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure it's really sad, but I've heard really good things, so decided to get that. That one actually had a couple decent books in. Um, it had like Looking for Alaska by John Green and Perks of Being a Wallflower. I already have both of them, but would have picked those up if I didn't. It had another Heartland book in it, which is really funny to me. I, I don't know, it's kind of funny that we're coming across so many of those in various uh, little libraries. So, all right, let's see here. How many more books do we have? Three, four, eight, eight more. So at least two more stops. Um, and then hopefully those will be successful stops. <sighs> it's taking longer than I thought it was going to, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So made it to the next one. We're going to Exchange and Agatha Christie book, um, The Underdog and other short stories. I already have this one, so I was just an oops by um, Flannery O'Connor, Everything That Rises Must Converge. Um, I had that one first and then I got another one with the really pretty covers, so I don't really need that one anymore. Um, sometimes I'll keep duplicates, but I just didn't feel like it on that one. Um, Mary Higgins Clark, I'll be seeing you. This was another oops purchase because I already had it. And then we'll do Lunch Poems by Frank O'Hara. This was a college book that I Actually, I'm really not sure if I read this one or not. Um, God, five years will kill your brain, I swear. Uh, but yeah, not sure if I read that one or not. So this library is so cute, cause like, just look. Like they take the definition of little and really, really go with it. Like this one's, this one's tiny. Oh, but it's so nice looking. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. Put those there. Let's see here. Never after the Thirteenth Fairy. Kind of looks like it's more of a kids' book. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call that a maybe. That looks like a no. Those look like a no. Those look like no's. Obsessed. The danger of anger. Essays by a girl from somewhere else. Memoirist. Eh. And then dunes. Dune. Is this is this what the book is? Is this what the movie's based on? Not the book, the movie. I don't know. I don't know. And I haven't watched the movie, so I don't know if I even like it. Um Sorry. Uh yeah. I think we're just gonna We're gonna go with <clears throat> the first one that I picked up and put all of these in there. Alrighty. Doing a good job with supplying books to these things. Not really having much success taking them, but that's okay. Because I guess putting them in there is more the point anyway. So we 
have one more stop to go on. Um, I'm just going to show you what the books are a while. <clears throat> Refrigerated Music for a Gleaming Woman. I did read this one. This one was a little weird. I think it's poetry, if I remember right. Um, or, no, actually it's not. It's just really short stories. It was just weird. It was a weird one. Um, his favorites. This one I know is poetry. Didn't read it. Citizen. That was another. These are all call. These three were all college ones. Um, didn't, didn't get to that one. And then this is Dog is Love. My aunt got me this from birthday, Christmas, something like that. Um, just because I like dogs, but don't really want to read about them. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna share the love and let somebody else love the dog book. So yeah. All right, let's go find our last little library. <laughs> so as you saw, I had to get, I had to stop. I had to stop and get some, uh, some coffee because it was, it was just needed. So I got the salted caramel cold salt caramel cold brew cream cold brew whatever it's called um i'm a sucker for caramel and the cold, the cold foam that's on top of it is just so good so now that we have that all sorted we're gonna figure out the last our last little place so let's see here There's a lot in it. This is great. Alrighty, put those there. This one caught my attention first. Fly away, Kristen Hannah. I think I have another book by her. Teenagers in the 70s, they were inseparable. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this one sounds good. So we're gonna go with that one. Oh, I like that it has a little shelf here. This one's probably my favorite. This is my favorite. Search for Moby Dick. Nah. Not really feeling a Moby Dick thing here. What Alice forgot. Ooh, that cover looks really author of Big Little Lies. Okay, yep. That one's that one's coming with me. Um I organize some of these up here. I think I have this one actually. Grisham. I do like John Grisham, so we might take that one too. And I think I think we might just be done with that. Three for four. That's pretty. That's pretty good, right? All right. So we've come to the end of our adventure, <laughs> and it was an adventure. I did not expect it to take quite that long, but I'd say it was pretty successful. We got seven books. Seven books. I think I probably had like. 15 or 16, something like that. So, you know what? I'll take it. Seven books that are decent. Um, you just never know with these. They could be really hit or miss. So, I'm pretty happy with seven. So, thank you so much for joining me on this little journey. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about all I got. Uh, so, I'm going to say bye. And it's the weekend when I'm filming this. So, if you're watching when I upload it, I hope that you have a fabulous weekend. All right. Love you lots. Bye.